In this exercise, what we're doing is I did the math and come up with 92% of the valve diameter. And I set this scribe, if you've noticed, it's got a locking nut in a position here. I have a length measurement that goes here to here. It tells me what the imprint's going to be. I then put this on there, scribe the line, and by turning it multiple times, I'm going to get a, a line in the blue dicom. And what this is going to do is this is going to tell me how far and how circular to cut the bowl so that I got no fillet and no radius past that line. Okay, by doing this, I'm going to have all these bowls exactly the same on their exit. There'll be some 70 degree valve angle, then a 60, then it dumps right into the bowl, which is what we're looking for. So I just do a few lines. Now this is what she looks like finished. I'll let you get a close up. Her lines, which is right here. Now I got to go back up there. The valve job's done. Everything's finished. And port these bowls with my, uh, I'll use an egg, probably a 9 16 egg, cut this area out, blend it right up to that line, and I'll have a perfect exit all the way around. Alright. Okay, this is the final stage of the operation. Uh, basically, you can see the little lines that I scribed going around right underneath the gray seat. I got to go in here now my die grinder and roll all of that right up to that scribe line. If you'll notice on the exhaust, it's way up there. It's about 96 to 97 percent of the valve diameter. On the exhaust, I do that to get it out because it's compensated for by the wider seat that I leave on there. So I don't have to have as much meat. I can get more exhaust out to match the bigger opening that I got in the port. So anyway, that's what's going on right now. I'm going to go ahead, cut all this out, and take some photos as I go so you can see. the. As you can see before, where it was, uh, the line was drawn and brought up to the 60 degree angle before it rolls in the seat, you can still see some telltale signs of the line. The bowl was then ground all the way with a 9 16 egg shaping it right up into the 60 degree turn. Notice that on the exhaust side it's much less because on the exhaust we need to try to get more out of there and the seat width of the exhaust is greater. So that's what she looks like right there with it rolled right. Let me get one more shot of the short turn. Okay as you can see the short turn is rolled in a hence that past the 60 degree seat, there's no overhang. It falls straight after that and goes straight back. There's no fillet or radius up past that point. The seats dictate that there's no radius or uh, blending after that. It's a straight drop down to there. That's the way you ensure maximum valve diameter. All right, so that right there concludes that part of it. I'll get a couple of snapshots of the final bill, but that's the old feed off uh, part of it here. This is Mike Rogers from Nashville, Tennessee. And these are his 441s that had the numbers turned upside down, which I believe are the Canadian heads. And he's here today picking up and inspected and looked at everything, what was going on. What would you say that you saw at the end of the day here? Well, Tony, as usual, um, you surprised me with your perfection on this. Um, I think this is going to make a beautiful engine for me when we put it together. and Can't wait to get it done. So it looks, it looks fantastic. I'm glad you're happy with it. All right, just wanted to get that last shot in. One